If you're a whale, welcome. <laughs> Credit card go Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. Today we talk about the swipe, swipe, the purchases, the money, the value, what you should buy at what kind of price points. Look at that, limited offer daily jewel packs. Is that debate? Spoiler, it's not. But essentially, we're about to pour money into the gambling machine. Spoiler alert, I already did, but only a little bit. As always, in all seriousness, guys, spend at your own risk, spend within your means, spend responsibly. I probably make less money than you, um, so I probably am not qualified to actually take tell you how to manage your money, but to keep these things in mind. So for this video, I'm actually going to pop over to my handy spreadsheet because I've done a little bit of analysis on this. All right, so let's start with the pricing. This might look a little bit odd to you. It might be different to your USD. It's because I'm using the Australian dollar reduce, but in the end, it doesn't matter because we're looking at the total jewels. We're looking at how it all relates to each other. We're looking at which packs are relative to each other. If we're looking in from the outside, none of these packs are worth it. We're spending a crap load of money on a bunch of JPEGs, but that don't matter. So what I've done here is I've actually done some conditions formatting to show you which ones are of the highest value, the green down to the lowest value, the red or the zero. But this is only in terms of total jewels. I've also considered what actually is in those packs, right? So we have the, like the daily grotto, we have like the divine amulets, see if they're worth it. I'm going to talk through each one of these. So let's start from the top and make our way down. Daily jewel pack. You guys know this as like the monthly. I think it's the best ongoing value. I would probably buy this for about two months and because it accelerates your progress. Not only does it have an extremely high ratio of the total jewels. It's actually the most out of all the ones after the initial packs, but it also actually gives you the double dungeon drops. And what's so good about the double dungeon drops is that it actually kind of like even low key negates these two packs. What people don't realize is that the double dungeon drops, it gives you a crap load of mana. Look, I'm at 15 million mana and I'm at about like, let's say, I think about 14 R7s. I could probably make like another seven R7s at this point. Obviously when more content comes through, you're going to be needing more mana. So this advice may not apply then I reckon mana is a non-issue. I don't think it's an issue at all. We pop back over to our spreadsheet. Let's talk again about the dungeon drops. Double dungeon drops means that you get your characters faster, right? Because you get the coins. It means that you need to farm less because the dungeon also drops the equips, RNG. It just really accelerates your progress. If nothing else, I'll probably get a month of daily jewel pack. However, when you're starting to hit the cap, so I'm talking like you're getting your Nozomi five star, you're getting your Yukari five star, you're getting actually there's a lot. Might take a while to hit the cap, maybe like a couple of months, right? But essentially think of this as halving the amount of time that you need to actually obtain the tokens required for the each dungeon character. Let's move on. Daily Grotto. Doo -doo. I think these guys are just a straight pass. Daily Grotto gives you mana and EXP. If mana is going to be covered by the double dungeon drops, then all that's left is EXP. Honestly, I'm starting to buy out the EXP pots from each of the bonus shops or the normal shop. I think it's fine, to be honest. I think mana is a non-issue. I think EXP may become an issue, but at this point, it's okay. And if you really need it, then I guess you can just go ahead and buy it. But at this point in the game, I don't think anyone needs to buy the daily grottos. That is unless you're actually running out of mana. And I can see that happening for whales because you guys probably like have all of the characters and you're r 7 all of them. Next, we've got the 500 jewels daily deal. So I think this goes on for a couple of days every month. At a ratio of 83, it's okay. If you're, it's it's decent ongoing value, but obviously I would look at the other things before this one. The 7.5K jewels, these, these are okay. It's for the whales, it's for the dogs. There's a hundred percent for these. If anything, you should pick pretty much anything else. That's not the straight jewels. That's actually a pretty good TLDR. Pick anything else, but not the straight jewels. Now we've got the juicy one-time deals. Now here is the real question as low spenders, I guess. So do we go for the one-time deals with the high amount of total jewels, or do we go for the daily jewel pack? Or do we go for the daily jewel pack with this, all of this in it? If I was to pick one, I'd probably pick the top one, but looking at this, it's like $1.59 and $3.09. Like, I don't know how much it is for you guys, but that's like a McChicken in Australia. So, and I'm not telling you guys to starve yourselves to play gacha games because that's what I did in high school. But from a privileged first world point of view, that's not overly much money. Now, here's an interesting one. The Goddess Blessing one-time deal. So you get the Divine Amulets, 40 of them, and you get 2 million of premium mana. What the hell is premium mana? For? So let's talk about the Divine Amulets first. You get 40 of them. What this actually equates to is four two-star dupes or one three-star dupe minus 10 of the DAs. I guess what you need to think to yourself is go back to your home currency, $6.50 for me. Is that worth four two star dupes? Or is that worth the three star? And, and you just need to remember that 40 DA converts to like maybe 30 of the initial shards of who you're going for. Obviously, as more limiteds come out and as you get them, this pack will actually be worth more and more. But at this stage of the game, I wouldn't buy it. It doesn't seem exactly 
add, but we just don't really need it right now. Two stars are at an 18% uh, rate. So that's about that we're using that kind of percentage. So you're getting a two star in about every one in five rolls, right? So, so this means, I guess you could kind of equate it to maybe 20 rolls because it's four two stars worth. Uh, but obviously you could be luckier, you could be not luckier. And then we've got the dog shit packs. We know that these are all trash. There's not even any point in looking at them. What's interesting though, is that the 50 jewels up to the 600 jewels offer pretty much like no savings, right? So if you're actually missing a little bit and you're only going to be forking out a little bit, don't think between like the 50 or the 600, you just get the 50. Even the 1.5k jewels is not really that much more. Like, like, I, like I said, gacha in general is not really worth it, but that's not what we're debating today. And then again, we just go up with these guys. It's 39 to 42 to 45. That really is just not that much of a savings to be honest. So let's kind of summarize it for each kind of like spending range. If you're kind of like low spending, obviously you get these two guys and the daily jewel pack. If you're wanting to spend a little bit more, you would go for the 500 jewels daily deal. Remember that this goes on for a couple of days a month. So there's actually a pretty good chance that this could fulfill what you need. After that though, it gets a bit shitty. So if we're talking whales, we're going to be talking about these guys, right? Obviously these guys come next. They are at a higher ratio than these guys. But remember that one of these is actually a monthly deal. So dolphins, I would really encourage you if you're really intent on spending this kind of money, you go for the 7.5k jewels after all of the stuff that we just went through. The daily jewel pack, the one-time deals, and then the 7.5k monthly deal. After that, I would look at the three-time deal. And then I'll probably pop down and look at this guy if you're a whale. You notice that I skipped the grotto attempts. I already explained why. And for now, the goddess blessing as well. So that was a lot of information to digest, but I've got a little bit more and this is probably really important. So again, this is in Australian dollars. It doesn't matter. We're just comparing the relative values, right? Now, now what's important and what I found out because I'm an iOS user, but I've been playing on the emulator is that the gem balance actually does not carry over between OSs. So on my iPhone, I actually have like 40 gems, but on my emulator, I actually have like, I think 45K ish, which is really annoying. Like, come on, crunchy roll. Now let's get into the juicier tips. So for Google Play, you can take advantage of the Google points program if it's available in your region. So effectively, every dollar you spend, you get some points. Once you get enough points, you can use it for a discount. Also for Google Play, though not exclusively, because you can actually do this on iOS, you could also try the Google Opinion Rewards app. So that actually earns your Google Play balance. So I think I just did it today and it just gave me 19 cents. I was like, bro, I'll take it. And probably the most important one of all, because this is actually going to save you like big money. And for both Google Play and iOS, try looking for like 10 to 20% discounts on the prepaid gift cards. So for example, for myself, uh, this is my local bargain site. And you can see here, this has a 15% off iTunes gift cards. This was only like a month ago, actually. And this is at Coles, which is our local supermarket chain. And then just a few weeks before that, it would actually happen in Big W, which is one of our department stores. And I'm just looking at the iTunes ones right now, right? So if I go down, we even have like, if you're from New Zealand or Singapore or wherever, you can use these. But I'm sure like if you're in America or you're in Malaysia or whatever, I'm like, I'm like 100% sure that you guys are going to have some similar site that's going to be tracking these kinds of things. It's going to always, there's always going to be communities like this that are looking for these big, big discounts. But, but this is where you're really going to get your savings, right? Because all of the other stuff, it's all like, it's all little, right? It's all little like my PP. Also, one thing to note is that the deals are actually predominantly free jewels. So these jewels actually cannot be used to purchase some of the premium packs. So if you guys are playing right now, you guys may be familiar with the jump start gacha. So this is actually using 1500 of the premium stuff. Now let's talk about whether the jump start gacha is worth it. So you essentially get a 10 pool in which you have a guaranteed three star. I think it's okay if you're starting out, if you have a little bit of disposable income, it's pretty decent. At worst, it becomes 50 divine amulets because of a duplicate three star, right? One day it will become that. That's just the nature of the game. <laughs> and if we actually go back to the spreadsheet and have a look at the goddess blessing one, that's actually $6.50 for 40 divine amulets. And that jump start actually kind of makes this one look like a deal. So yeah, to sum it up, if you have the disposable income, I would consider this. And if we hop back over, I have nothing left to talk about. So that brings me to the end of the video. I don't know how I talk so long about buying gems. It's kind of weird, to be honest. Again, spend responsibly. I'm going to leave a tale of a whale down below, which is a guy who pretty much like broke his entire life because of gacha. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm spending in gacha within my means, right? within my means. I'm not going to end up on the streets because of the $20 I dropped on Princess Connect. With that being said, we are done today. I appreciate you for watching so much. Today's secret message is I am not addicted. Repeat after me, boys. I am not addicted. And if you could drop this secret message down in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it because it tells me that you actually made it to the end of the video. Woo! And that one comment, you don't even have to like the video. That comment just, it makes it all worth it, right? All my time, all of that time, and you giving me that feedback, telling me that you've made it here. It, it just feels good. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you could like, sub, comment, 
follow. Don't spend too much. Regardless, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.